Hi guys, we're back with another tan review and today it's going to be the Jess Wright Beauty Gradual Tan in Medium from Poundland. Now I did buy this last year but I haven't opened it yet so I'm thinking it's still good and fingers crossed and I have googled it and it is still available so I'm going to put this on. First things first, even if it's gradual tan I still use a mitt because the chances of not getting this all over my hands and it being super orange very, very slim. Um, so I still treat it exactly the same as I do with a regular tan. I still um, kind of then go over my hands and stuff. It's like no different, the difference, I suppose, no different, the difference is, um, it's basically like a more moisturizing and less harsh in your face kind of tan. Um, we'll see. I just can't imagine. The reason that I didn't try this last year was because it's coming towards the end of the summer. I was like, mm, kind of over it now. Um, don't know if people are really that bothered about the fake tan reviews anymore. And also, it's a Poundland tan. And I was scared. So full disclosure, I'm doing this on my day off when I don't have to go back to work for a few days, just in case. I can never take off my necklace or my, oh gosh, it's like, it's coming at me. Um, and I always regret it once I start. I'm like, ah, oh, I should have done that. Um, so yeah, it's kind of going to be a similar thing to the last one that we did because it's not tinted. Um, so it's not a million miles away from all of these new, like, clear tans. Oh, that smells amazing. It smells like ice cream soda. That's the nicest tan I've ever smelled. I mean, it's all going to smell like tan in the end anyway, isn't it? Because they all do, but yeah. Um, so I'm, it, it's basically going to be the same kind of thing. You can't see where you're going. There's no guide colour, um, but I definitely would still use mitt. A couple of things. Um, I feel like I've used half of this. We'll see. I mean, it's hard to say but I feel like I've used a really good amount of this. I mean, it's a small thing, but for it to be gradual tan suggests that you wanna be using this multiple days in a row. Yes. So there's that. There's also um, <laughs> the point that usually I put my mitt on my back brush, but I got rid of my back brush and now I've got like a shorter scrubby thing and I'm realizing my error because I have no way of doing that one little section of my back that I can't reach. So that'll be our guide color. Um, we'll get an idea of like, that's the white spot. I've also left my bracelet on like I did last time, but I forgot to show you, um, just to kind of get an indication for me what this actually does. And we'll see, I wasn't very careful, as is always the case with gradual tan. Um, I put it everywhere, I think, hard to know. Uh, and I had scrubbed and moisturized yesterday. Um, so I feel like I'm giving it its best shot, but also, I bought it last year, not being very careful. We'll see. Quick update. Um, as is always the case with this kind of thing, the creams, the lotions, whatever, took an age to absorb. So there's a good chance I got dressed too quickly um, and we're gonna factor that in. Also, it smells very strongly of fake tan. Uh, we're only four hours after application. Um, I, you could do this overnight. I like to tan in the daytime so that I can get a shower and feel clean and not smell like fake tan in my bed because uh, I don't want that smell to transfer into my bed. Um, and so before bed tonight, I'll shower off and we'll come back tomorrow and see what one coat looks like. It's day two. I've actually just put another coat of this on. I just thought, why not talk while I'm waiting for it to absorb? Because it's clear anyway, what's the big deal? Um, I'm gonna show you the little section on my back that I had missed and I'm probably going to have missed again today. I recently rejoined the gym purely because I have got just the worst strength and like range of motion in my shoulders, my neck, my, my back, all of this area. So I've purely gone back to the gym to do that. And as I'm doing it, I'm like, I should be able to reach to here. I'm 34 years old. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna show you that section on my back um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the, um, like what it looks like, what I'm feeling like so far. I can't see what you can see, but I think there is a bit kind of somewhere towards the middle where you can just a little bit see that it's not quite the same. Bear in mind, it's not very dark so far. This is the beauty of gradual tan, is that it's very, I mean, especially the one I got was medium, um, but gradual tans are very forgiving, really easy to use. My problem with gradual tan is that you constantly smell like fake tan for me. This is a particularly heavy scent. I um, had a shower and a bath yesterday and still felt like I smelled a fake tan. Also, because I was doing it again today, I didn't think it was worth washing my hair because I think it just gets into your hair. Um, and so I just always feel kind of a little bit grimy when I'm doing the um, gradual tans. So it is way, way easier, really 
if you're like new to this or a bit, a bit nervous, gradual tan's the way to go. But I would say still apply it like once a week, like you would a regular tan, because otherwise it's just constant. Day three, so um, this is two coats, layers, applications, whatever you want to say. Um, it doesn't look super dark in the viewfinder, but for me, I mean, it doesn't look super dark anyway, but for me, it's obvious that I'm wearing fake tan, because obviously, you know, I like fake myself. Um, I really like this. I didn't love the scent on application. Um, it did take a while to absorb, but I don't think that it's any worse than any other gradual tan that I've ever used. It's very, like, uh, like on par with, like, the Dove one. Um, the colour is really good. I'm not finding anything particularly bad, you know, maybe it's not perfect. Around my hands, for example, I just wasn't careful. I was just kind of to there a little bit, a little bit. I thought yesterday it looked a little bit strange on this knuckle. Otherwise, but it's really not bad at all. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Also, I'm just gonna show you my legs, because I realized I forgot that on the last one that we did, and um, a couple of people were missing that, and I get it, because sometimes that's like the problem area, isn't it, for streaks and patchiness. Pardon my need to be. I end up in pajamas though, not me. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Am I zoomed out? Okay, there we go. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not finding like any mega streaks anywhere. Nothing that's kind of immediately jumping out at me and that's all I'm looking for. Also around my feet, they're not, it's not like super orange around my ankles and stuff. I just don't think it's bad. I don't, I'm really impressed. Also just for the sake of comparison, it won't really be until I come to edit this that I see what you're seeing right now, but just to see if we can see where I missed the patches on my back. In the mirror, I don't think I can see it. I also did put it on my face, not necessarily something I would recommend, but I just wanted to see. Um, I was already kind of in a, a, a breakout mood, if you will. Um, I was already breaking out here and there, but I don't think it's made it any better. Don't know if it's made it any worse, but if you are prone to breakouts, it's something that I would probably avoid and just use something that is specific for your face tan wise um or nothing at all and then just like make it work with foundation uh but i have used it on my face i don't think it's been too bad in terms of the way that it's developed so yeah first impressions very favorable i will come back in a few days to see how this is worn and uh give you my final thoughts right we're in a different room which is unusual for these kind of videos i usually do them in the bathroom but we're quite late on in the day and the light is more towards this side of the house I just wanted to check in. We started this process on a Thursday. It's now the Tuesday. Yesterday, I noticed in the mirror at work um, some kind of weird streaking on my neck. I don't know if this is going to show up. It Definitely, I can see it in the mirror, but I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera. Around here, it is not wearing well. And this technically, if we did Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, started three days in. Yeah, three days in. So if we're looking for this to last a week, it's definitely not going to. Okay, we're on day seven. Um, it's pretty much gone now. I've got like some remnants here, a little bit like, you know, here. The telltale areas where it kind of seems to um, get left behind. Uh, but it's just not great. I really went with like ups and downs with this particular one. And it's like, mm, it's a pound, not expecting much. When I put it on, I'm thinking this is actually not so bad compared to a lot of other gradual tanners. It's kind of like on a par. Um, the only real downside was the scent for me. And now I just don't think it's great. It, it's okay initially. If you're wanting something um, that's for a specific evening, you know, if you're gonna do it like Thursday night, Friday night, and then you're going out Saturday night, I think it'll look fine. Uh, but if you're wanting something that you can use all the time, it's not great. I mean, it's super, super cheap. You might be cool with it. Um, I personally, for the time it takes to do any kind of fake tan, want it to at least last for a few days and look nice while it does. I was not keen on the way that it was streaking and like wearing off in a really patchy way um, a few days in without really even, I wasn't even really looking. Um, and then I caught myself at work and it's kind of like when you wear a really bad foundation um, and you suddenly see yourself and you're like, oh my God, is this what people have been seeing all day? Um, that's not for me. So not that great in the end, not terrible, really not that great. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I have done others. Um, I'm going to do more this year. If you've got any particular ones you would like to see, let me know. I've got already a long list from other people. Um, but I thought this would be an interesting one since it's super, super cheap. And I would love to hear from you. If you've tried this, if you love it, if you hate it, let us know and I will see you guys next time.